Today, we're making Hainanese chicken rice, a Singaporean hawker favorite, and I'm making this so simple so you have no excuses and you get everything in one pan, which means less dishes to wash. So, yeah, let's go. Okay, first, chicken prep. This is for two servings, so I'm using two pretty large chicken thighs, she thick, and mine is skinless. I'm not trying to be healthy here, this is just the freshest chicken that they had that day. But yeah, so first of all, you see all of this beautiful fat right here. I'm trimming it off. We want this beautiful fat. Chicken skin is also fat that you can use, by the way. But this is all of the fat that we're going to be using today. I'd say about a tablespoon of fat for one cup of rice. Some would argue the more fat the better but you didn't hear it from me, okay? I'm just going to cut the fat into smaller pieces here and keep that to one side. Alright, back to the chicken. We're just going to be doing some simple seasoning for the chicken. One teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of white pepper as well as a teaspoon of sesame oil just massage it all in just like this and then we leave it to marinate for a while about 15 minutes or so or until we're ready to use it meanwhile just prepare these other ingredients first i have here about one inch of ginger and four to five cloves of garlic basically you just want equal amounts of ginger and garlic all you gotta do is add it to the blender add a little bit of water so that it blends easier and i'm going to be blending together the garlic and ginger so that i get this gorgeous paste and then voila we're ready to cook in a pan, add some oil and then once it's hot, add the chicken fat. We're going to be searing the chicken fat and what that's going to do is that's going to render all of that gorgeous chicken fat and get it infused into the oil. You want to fry it until it gets all nice and crispy like this and then you can remove it off from the oil. You can eat this fried chicken skin and fat later on by the way. Yum! In the now chicken fat infused oil, add one chopped red onion as well as the garlic and ginger paste. Now if you want to puree the onions with the garlic and ginger from earlier, you can. But if you're too lazy to even puree the ginger and garlic, then just add the garlic and ginger whole. Make sure it's in bigger chunks so that it's easier to take them out of the rice later on. It's really not fun to bite into whole ginger. Ugh. Anyway, give that a nice stir and then once it's fragrant, I'm adding a 1 teaspoon of sesame oil. And then I add washed uncooked rice. So this is for two servings. So I have here one cup of rice for... Use whatever rice you have. I'm using basmati rice because that's just what I have. Give that a stir and let all of that flavours and the chicken fat oil coat every grain. And then we're adding my cheat ingredient here, instant chicken stock. So this is basically chicken stock from one bouillon cube. So I have about one liter of chicken stock here. We're going to be adding the chicken stock to the rice earlier. I'm using 2.5 cups to my one cup of basmati rice. Now how much stock you need depends on the type of rice that you use. Just follow the directions on your rice packet. If you're not too sure then I find that it's a lot safer to err on the side of having more stock than less stock. By now, your chicken should be all nicely marinated enough. Grab your chicken and nestle it in the rice just like this. This is completely optional but I'm going to be using pandan leaves or screw pine leaves. This is what they look like. Just knot together two bundles of two leaves just like this. Very easy and we are going to nestle it on opposite ends of the pan. This is going to add a beautiful extra fragrance to the dish but it's really optional okay, it's not important at all. Then you want this to come to a nice boil. Once it does, lower the heat to a gentle simmer and then put a lid on the pan. Let that cook for about 12 to 15 minutes depending on your rice instructions. Mine will take 15 minutes. 
Meanwhile, let's prepare the next most important component of chicken rice, the chili sauce. I have 10 big red chilies here chopped up to make blending easier and also 10 bird's eye chilies. This is really spicy, okay? So adjust it to your spice tolerance. Next, ginger and garlic. I'm using more of the ginger garlic paste since I had the hand blender out from earlier. Same thing here, equal amounts of ginger and garlic. For this, I had 10 cloves of garlic and about 3 inches or 50 grams of ginger. Basically this much. Equal amounts. 1 cup of the same chicken stock from before. Juice from 2 large limes or about 50 milliliters. 1 tablespoon of sugar and 1 teaspoon of salt. My chicken stock has a bit of salt in it so I don't need too much salt. Add more if you need. Finally, a teaspoon of white vinegar. And then just blend. You would notice that this is a lot. I am making a huge batch. This is about 2 cups. Now because I make this chicken rice pretty often because it's so easy and so yummy, I like to have some chili sauce ready to go. But if you want a 1 meal worth, if you trust my mats then I portioned it all for you. It's all down below. Give it a taste test, see how you like it. You might need to add more sugar or more salt. This depends on how sour your lime is and how salty your chicken stock is. Okay, once you're done with the chilies, and it should take about 15 minutes, let's check on the chicken rice. Give the rice a fluff test to check that it's done. Now, if the bottom of the pan still has a bit of liquid still, just keep it on the stove on low heat for a couple more minutes just so it evaporates. Your chicken should also be done. If you're using a bigger piece than mine, then make sure you poke a fork through to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. If the blood still flows and the juices don't run clear, then obviously put the lid back on and let the chicken finish cooking, okay? But anyway, yeah, mine is done. Cooked to perfection. I'm just going to sprinkle on some chopped parsley here for the aesthetic. Before serving, just remove the pandan leaves if you use them. If you didn't blend up the ginger and garlic, then make sure you remove those bigger chunks in the rice as well. And then serve it up with some cucumbers as well as chili sauce of course. So yeah, please try this and give this a go and yeah, bye!